Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Well, hey YouTube, how you doing? It's been a couple of weeks since my last video, but um, we could have come uh, down to earth with a bang. Today I've picked up the, uh, the Google Home Mini. Now, this is the smaller version of the Google Home, obviously. And I've got the, I believe it's the charcoal version. So I'll sit on the bottom there, charcoal. Uh, usual Google type boxing. Got a few generic questions to ask there. Uh, small and mighty. Lovely. Get your questions answered. Uh, tackle your day. Voice control your home and enjoy your entertainment. And on the side there, just a few of the things that it connects with. So there's the Nest devices, Philips Hue, Wemo, Google Photos, Spotify, Netflix and YouTube. So if I can get into the packaging. Just get rid of all this cellophane first. As you can tell, absolutely brand spanking now. So in the UK, which is where I'm based obviously, uh, these are retailing for £49. Just get rid of that junk. Okay. So you'll notice on the bottom, there's a little, a little pull tab. And there we go. Open it up. And yeah. Everybody who said they look a bit like a donut, absolutely spot on. Uh, I'll just put that to one side for a second. Just have a quick check what else there is in the box. It's a bit of a let's get started guide, a bit of generic paperwork, and obviously. Because I'm in the UK, I get the UK adapter and lead all nicely packaged. So, put that to one side, we'll have a quick look at this. So, as you can tell, I'm going for the charcoal one. It's got like the fabric coating around the top. And at the bottom is a bit of a, a bit like orangey red plastic that had a bit of dirt on, which is nice. Thank you, Google. And that'll help it sit on the desk without moving too much. And you've also got the mute switch there. Okay. So, plastic, rubber and material, but obviously hard plastic underneath. So what I'll do, guys, is I'll just plug it in and uh, we'll endeavour to get it set up. So, just talk amongst yourselves. Okay guys, so I've just popped off to uh, number one, get my phone, number two, just thought I'd grab the original Google Home, just so you could compare uh, the size and the look. It's the same sort of fabric obviously, but this is a different colour. Um, and obviously this is a bit more weightier because of the, uh, the speaker set up on the bottom. So I did get to my phone and it says straight away set up Chromecast device. So it's already detected something. Okay, so Google Home Mini found. So we'll click on the next. So yes, yeah, pretty easy to set up guys, pretty standard stuff. Um, so if you've got a, an up-to-date phone, it sort of picks it up straight away and you just go through the, the process like I've done. So it's taken a couple of minutes as you've seen. 
Uh, now the one plus point I'll say about the original Google Home, if you like, is I do like the speakers on it. It's nice and bassy. It can be a bit too much when you're going full throttle, so to speak, but if you're sort of at a lower volume and you're just listening to a bit of music quietly, um, the bass response is excellent. So I don't expect this new one to be anywhere near like that, but uh, as you can see there's not a massive, massive size difference there. It's saying it's ready, so... Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. <laughs> okay, that's off. I think we're on. <laughs> so, it's going to be a few, a few preliminary... Pre preliminary... Get me teeth in. <laughs> uh, so, what we got? Um, okay, Google. Play some music. Sure, here's some music on Spotify. Okay, Google. Stop. Just turn my phone off because that's doing that's going for it as well. <laughs> okay, Google. What's the weather today? Today in Mosley, there'll be showers with a forecast high of 11 and a low of 8. Right now it's 9 and cloudy. Well, that's obviously uh, something to look forward to, isn't it? Um, OK, Google. What time is it? It's 12.52. That's, that's quite loud. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see, if, let's see if it'll do this, because it wouldn't do this previously. Um, it might have been updated. OK, Google. Play TalkSport Radio. Sure. Here's TalkSport on TuneIn. Right, so previously to do this, but I, I couldn't tell it to turn off after however long, so we'll try this. OK, Google. Stop playing after 60 minutes. <laughs> uh, so it's just stop playing. That's all it's heard, isn't it? So we'll try again. Okay, Google. Play Talk Sport Radio. Sure. Here's Talk Sport on TuneIn. Away when written all okay, Google. After 60 minutes, stop playing. Sorry, I don't understand. Arsenal manager, Arsene Wenger. Okay, Google. After 60 minutes, turn off. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Ronald Koeman switches to a back three. Okay, Google. Turn off after 60 minutes. I'm afraid I don't understand. Okay, Google. Stop. Right, so that's one of the things that annoyed me about the uh, Google Home. It won't turn off your radio. So if you're going to if you're going to bed and you want a bit of music on just to fall to sleep too, uh, there's no way of turning it off automatically, unless somebody knows um, any different. Love to leave leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, where else? Well, you can't see it on camera, but I've got a, a U light over the other side of the room, so we'll try this one. Okay, Google. Dining room, 100%. Okay, setting Hue white lamp 1 brightness to 100%. Okay, Google. Dining room, 0%. Sure, setting Hue white lamp 1 brightness to 0%. Okay, so that worked. What, what I've found with uh, the Google Home is rather than saying turn on this, turn off that, especially with the lights, you give it a percentage. Um, let's have a look at some of these questions on the side of the box. I'm sort of running out of ideas. 
Uh, okay, Google. Play my chill list on Spotify. All right, here's a Spotify playlist called Chill Hits. Okay, Google. Stop. That seems to work. Okay, Google. How do you say how are you in Portuguese? Como você está? <laughs> Anybody catch that? <laughs> Uh, okay, Google. Where is the nearest flower shop? I found a few places within four point seven miles. The first one is Butterflies Florist at one. Okay, Google. In Ashton. Stop. So, to be honest, it's um, it's pretty much the same as the Google Home, but obviously where the Google Home is one two nine. Uh, well, British pounds anyway. Um, the whole mini is forty nine pounds, and loves to be touched for looking at that. And it's quite loud. It's it's definitely louder than the um, the Echo Dot, but it does it does sort of lack a little bit of the functionality that I use with my Echoes. But um, we're gonna have a play. I'll do a bit of research. See if there's a way we can get it to turn off after so long um, but we'll have a play if anybody knows any way to do that please I'd love to hear a comment apart from that I hope you've enjoyed this quick unboxing and uh, quick first look at the Google Home Mini um, I do like the charcoal I liked the, the coral finish but it's, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb isn't it unfortunately but never mind um, so I've gone for this one the lighter finish, I would imagine, look more like the Google Home one. Uh, so I wanted to go for something a little bit different. So they're in shops now, guys. The forty-nine pounds. Uh, I'm going to be doing a bit of a comparison video with the Echo Dot as well. And um, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please leave us a thumbs up. If you've loved it, uh, please subscribe. And please do feel free to share. As much as you like on social media. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.